Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I'm here today to talk about Orion BMS. I have an original Orion BMS uh, 168 cell. This is it right here. And I have the roughest time figuring out the documentation. So let's go over some basics here that I figured out. So, so far all I've done is hooked up the ground wire, which is white, not black, but the white thick wire and then to hook up power to a power supply just for testing, I hook up these two wires. So the thicker green and the thicker blue wire. I don't know why they did that. I don't understand most of it, but while I go, I figure I can maybe help some people out. So for the communication, there's this black cable. There's actually two for CAN1 and CAN2. I hooked up CAN1. If you see in there, I hooked up the 120 ohm resistor between the can high and can low terminals because without that you get no communication via serial the next thing I figured out is you can't really run it without this can adapter I think they sell this I don't know why but it doesn't work without it so you got to use this and then of course the USB to your computer you hook up their software you run it so what I've done so far is I've been able to power up the unit and of course I don't see any LEDs on this unit at all so there's not really even a way to tell whether or not it's even on so power up it runs at, at 12 12 and a half volts it was drawing about 170 milliamps um, for me with nothing else connected um, so I was excited because I could communicate I could read from the software that I don't I don't have it set up so I can't show you but the Orion software I could read in settings and then output settings and verify those were changed so that was the first success right okay I have a successful BMS the next thing was I really wanted to see my cells right I, I what I really wanted to do is I really wanted to do one cell at a time wire up one cell make sure it works on the Orion make sure but Orion doesn't work that way. Uh, their hardware, something about them, it doesn't work. You have to hook up at least 12 cells, I believe. So then it was, do I really want to hook up 12 cells going from, I think it's 3.6 all the way to 43 something volts um, with the chance of doing it backwards. And when you do it backwards, guess what? You blow up your Orion. So I didn't want to do that. So here's what I did. Here's my batteries. They probably shouldn't look very familiar to you. They're kind of prototype batteries. You'll probably see them in three to five years. So these are a 12S battery lithium, um, LG Chem lithium battery. They're 12S. So I had to hardwire the 12 wires plus the ground to a connector, right, on both sides. I apologize if this isn't making sense. So here's the... 43 or 45 volt power. No, this is the ground side. This is the power side. So I hooked up to directly to the cell. So I soldered in and that's my connector right here, right? So then on the Orion BMS, there's this cable, right? It's got orange, yellow, and red for the 12S type of connection that, that the Orion uses. So what I ended up doing, because I'm too nervous to try and hook it up blind, is I actually rented from Orion their Orion BMS tap validation tool. So this is kind of where I'm at. I assumed that I could hook up each battery at a time, which I can, and I'll show you that here in a second. So I don't have a tripod, so there's not a real easy way for me to do this. So here I go. So this is the Orion cable. This is the 12 orange pin out uh, up and down one through 12 and this is my um, custom made connector that I made DigiKey I'm gonna connect them together so I push them in so how, how do I know if they're right or if they're backwards so this is where the tool comes into play and power on the tool I saw one video of this Oops. We'll power on the tool I saw one video of this, but I couldn't see any of the the actual settings. So I'm hoping you can see that. Okay, so now I'm gonna push, oh, I should have used my other hand, but 
So here we go. If you can read that, it says bank three worn, bank two worn, bank one good. That's because I've only hooked up one set of the wires. And the cool thing is, is this one shows the actual pin out. God, I hope you can see this. And they're all C's, which means correct. So one through 12, all C's, right? And then the next one says bank two, and they're all Z's, Z's, the last letter of the alphabet, because none of them are connected. Push it again for bank three, same thing. So there's my actual voltage, 3.5 all the way to 43.2. Okay, so that's with one connected. The rest two banks are all zeros, and then it brings me loose wire check screen, and then uh, back to standard mode. So I'm turning this off. So then what I really wanted to do that didn't end up working for me is I wanted to hook up another battery, the 12 cells, but not connect the two batteries together just in case there was a difference in voltage. So that way I could check all my battery cells independently. So here I go again. Here's another battery, and here's the next set of wires, and I'm going to connect them together. So in theory, it should say the same type of thing, but now for two banks. So let's see what happens. I'm going to turn it on. It says error for bank two, blinking. Um, bank one still says good. Error two for blank, error two. Uh, bank two error blinking and then bank three is a warn Okay So just like the first time all C's for bank one, but when we get to bank two It's C's for 19 through 24 But 13 through 18 is all Z's which doesn't make any sense to me Bank three is, of course, all Z's, the last letter of the alphabet, because they're not connected. So my voltages are still good, just like last time, but the second ones are even weirder because 13 through 18 all show zero, and then 19 through 24 shows the correct, so uh, a, a voltage, 3.5, 7.1, 10.7, all the way down to 21.6. Now, here's what I think. Here's what I think. I've connected the cells to the tap validation tool. What I haven't done, what I haven't done is I haven't connected the batteries together. So instead of it reading the next set of voltages, right? 43.6, I think was the last voltage. And then plus three more should be 46 or 47. And then that should have been cell one for bank two and so on and so forth. So since that didn't happen, I think that's why it's off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect two in series. This is the first time I've ever tried it. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to have to set this down. I'm running over bubble tape at my feet. So I got these BMSs connected. Just one and two. I'm not connecting three. And then the scary part is connecting these two batteries together. Um... Alright, here I go. Triple check one more time. This is positive and negative, so they're backwards. So I'm nervous. So my bat my bank one is was my bank two and vice versa in the connection, so I'm gonna switch them. So when I connect them in series, they match the cells. If that makes sense. So this is now bank one, this is now bank two. Let me do the serious thing. Let me check my voltages on a multimeter to make sure that my voltages are the same between the two batteries. Very important step. So my bank one battery is 43.26. And unfortunately, I'm using this as my stand up and then my second battery is 43.27 that's what within tenths uh, tenths of a volt I'm gonna touch them together all right we're good there and I just need to connect the nuts this should have this should have been 
um, or should be a high voltage. I should be wearing gloves. I should be wearing goggles. I should be wearing um, goggles, gloves. Yeah, that's right. And then this should be high voltage stuff, but I don't have any of that. So, but imagine I was, okay? All right, so here we go. I've connected the two batteries together. So now this should read 80 something volts across it. And now let's check my cell tap validator. So I'm gonna turn it on. It still has air on bank two. Bank one is still good. Bank two, oh, it's got two in the middle that aren't connected. So I'll have to dig into that, but the rest are C's and then Z's. So this is what it wanted. So now it's got a total of 86.6 .6 volts altogether. So it's showing actually cell 17 has zero. So I got to go look at that wire, but I'm getting closer. So now I get it. The problem with Orion is you have to hook up everything to make almost anything work. I wish there was a way to do one cell at a time, make sure it's good, and then work your way up nice and carefully. But the way the hardware is and the software is, it can go only this way. So wish me luck. I'll try and keep making videos. Orion, if you like this, send me free stuff.